angsty goth princess and everyone's favorite TV mom. I just want this to be over. It's okay. Keanu Reeves' wife. More on that soon. But not, it's not, it's, it's just so unusual. These key words are applicable to just one person in the world. Winona Ryder. While being a treat for loyal Ryder fans, Netflix sci-fi horror series Stranger Things introduced a whole new generation to the actress's talent. Blink. Once for yes, twice for no. Can you do that for me, sweetie? Gather round. Rumor Juice is here to tell you what Winona Ryder is up to these days. Hello, husband. This is the way she often starts her text messages to Keanu Reeves. No wonder. They have been married since 1992, particularly since their wedding scene in Dracula. Francis Ford Coppola, Dracula's director, confirmed that the ceremony was shot in an actual church with an actual priest. I had a pretty, pretty How do you big, remember? healthy crush I had a guy. big, healthy Pretty legit if you ask us. 17 years on and going strong. Keanu, of course, thinks the entire thing is awesome. Um, I think so. On a more serious note, the two actors have indeed formed a lifelong friendship and collaborated on four movies. The latest one, Destination Wedding, was released in 2018. The two say they appreciate similar things, like being homebodies and watching movies together. Keanu's just one of my favorite people, Winona says. He's always been there for me. Ryder had famously dated Johnny Depp and Matt Damon, this time for real. Guys, can't live with them, can't shoot them. <laughs> Depp even had a Winona Forever tattoo, but had to change it to Wino Forever after their split in 1993. And you've got Winona Forever, I presume that's Winona Ryder. Is that one still there? Good guess. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's, uh, it's no longer there. We've, uh, we've split up. You had Winona. the tattoo taken off? No, no, of course not. These days, Ryder is in a relationship with fashion designer Scott McInlay Hahn. Known today as Joyce Byers from Stranger Things, Winona Ryder was a megastar in the 90s. Name an iconic movie from that era, Winona was in it. Beetlejuice, Heathers, Reality Bites, Dracula, The Age of Innocence, Little Women, Girl Interrupted, the list goes on. By the way, it was Winona's younger brother who was responsible for her accepting the role in the Alien franchise. Named after the Soviet cosmonaut, Yuri Ryder was a huge Alien fan. That is why Winona did not hesitate to play Call in the 1997 movie. She was ready to die on the first day of filming, if it meant she could brag about it to her brother. She's beautiful. Around that time, the star started to talk about mental health issues and shared her personal anxiety and depression stories. Unfortunately, her frankness was, at the time, interpreted as, well, craziness. The star's struggles culminated in 2001, when at the age of 30, she was caught in Beverly Hills, shoplifting items worth thousands of dollars. Ryder was found guilty of grand theft and vandalism. Consequently, she was sentenced to three-year probation, 480 hours of community service, and paid a fine. The shoplifting scandal almost derailed her career and raised serious concerns about her mental health. But Winona has always spoken about the incident from a positive perspective. Chatting with Interview Magazine in 2009, Winona admitted that she had been having trouble before her infamous shopping trip. She felt she had come against a wall. I mean, there's a lot, a lot going on. And with what happened, she was finally able to take the much needed time off. Opening up in later years, Ryder commented that incident wasn't really like the crime of the century. Moreover, in 2013, Ryder said that in a way, this experience was actually the best thing that could have happened. I'd never ask myself the question before of, is it okay if I'm not going to act? Is there anything else? Because that was all that I really knew. During the Hollywood hiatus, Ryder stayed with her parents in San Francisco and got in touch with her environmental activist roots. She got in contact with Julia Hill, a life coach and fellow activist. Together, they protected a 180-foot-tall, roughly 1,500-year-old California redwood tree from being cut down by a lumber company. Julia Hill lived in the tree for over two years, while Winona stayed for just six days, but it was worth it. The tree still stands to this day. Her break from Hollywood life lasted for a couple of years. The actress says she was able to explore other things. Eventually, however, she realized that her one true passion was acting. Winona Ryder may prefer a simple, steady home life, but as for the characters she embodies, expect drama and twists. Wherever the drama is, I'm sure that's where I'll be, she says. I think I can confirm it. Subscribe to Rumor Juice for more awesome videos like this one.